Alrighty, so I'm going to do a new homework help problem today that's in a little bit of a different format because I had a student to send me the problem of graph the function f of x is equal to negative 4x squared and draw the tangent lines to the graph at the points whose x coordinates are negative 2, 0, and 1. So I thought it would just be easier to um, record with the, the problem itself. Um, so I didn't have to try to rewrite this out. Okay, so here we go. If the function is something is like x squared, and that's the largest exponent, then you know you're going to be using the quadratic tool. So we're going to be using this tool and not the linear tool. So once you choose the linear tool, whenever we have just an x squared term, that means that we're going to have one of our points is at zero, zero. So we can label one of our points is going to be here at zero, zero. And then since it's negative four x squared, what we can do is we can do an x, y chart to find another point on our graph. Since we have one of our points is zero for x, we already know that that one's zero for y. So let's do a point that's a little bit to the right. Maybe let's do one for x. So if we plug in one for x, we get f of one is equal to, it would be negative four times one squared. One squared is one, and one times negative four is negative four. So our function value would be negative four. And that gives us a negative, uh, excuse me, another point on our graph that would be one and negative four. So there you go with one more point. It looks like it's only requiring two points, but if you needed a third point, because this is the vertex at zero, zero, we know that it reflects to the other side as well, because this is a line of symmetry um, through the vertex vertically. And so we would have a third point here. So it's going to look something to the effect of something like this. Oh, but I'm supposed to do negative two, zero, and one. So let me actually find what it is for negative two as well. So I can show that point. If I'm plugging in negative two, that would be negative four times negative two squared. Negative two squared is positive four. So this would be negative four times positive four. Negative four times positive four is negative 16. So negative two would be negative 16. So let me label that point. Negative two is negative 16 so that I can do a better job of drawing my graph, which would look like, let's see, something like, something like that. And I should make this side a little better because if it's negative 16 at negative two, it's also negative 16 at positive two. So let me expand this out a little bit more to go more like that. Okay, so this is basically the graph of the function. And now that we have drawn the function, they want us to draw the tangent lines to the graph. So drawing a tangent line is basically a line that is approximating the slope of the graph at that point. So for example, let me start with zero because I think it's easiest to see. The graph is increasing from at the left of zero up until it gets to zero. And then when it gets to zero, it's now decreasing. So whenever you change from a slope of, when your slope changes from increasing to decreasing, your slope at that point is going to be zero, the slope of your tangent line. So we can draw a tangent line at zero would look like this. At negative two, we also want to draw a tangent line there. So this tangent line, if we're approximating the slope. It's a little bit tricky because there's not much like below that, but we can draw a line that's something like, something like that would be at negative two and then at, um, positive one would look something to the effect of, we're trying to approximate the slope. So it's decreasing. So this would be a line 
that has a negative slope would look something like that. So in order to find those um, equations of those tangent lines, um, we could go through a process, but that just gives you like a visualization of something like what they're supposed to look, look like. So I'll come back to figuring out the equations of those tangent lines uh, with the exception, let me go ahead and do this one that's through the line that's the, the line y is equal to zero basically. So the equation of this tangent line, since it's literally along the y equals zero line is, we already know that that one would be y is equal to zero. Um, so that one's done. We just need to find the, the tangent line at x is equal to one, and we need to find the tangent line at, at x is equal to negative two. So I don't wanna make these videos too long, so let me do that in a separate video.